Hala ya shabab. Welcome to part 16. In the last part, we enabled the, cre the creation of a task. We fixed a mistake here in line 41 in task create form. And now we are able to create tasks. As you can see here, but well, I will go now back. And the next thing we want to do is to look for the uh, details of a task. When you click on the card, that you should see all the details. So let's jump back. What we need now is to create again a new component. How we will call this component? We'll call it task details card we will do define now props define props okay define props and then we will say of course we have to define props because we will um, from the from this component here the task card we will pass the task to the task details card that's why we need the props task object as prop type Uh, of type task fetch response okay looks good looks good now let's define our emits again const emit equals define emits uh, here we'll define an emit when the user clicks on the back uh, button so we say back clicked and the next thing we want to define is a const for handle back click i mean this is just the wrapper for the event handle back clicked Oh, okay, emit, pass it the event, the event name. Okay, and that's basically it for the logic. We're just displaying a task object, and we handle, of course, when the user clicks on back, there will be a button, and yes. That's it for the logic part, for the HTML part in here. Let me just copy paste it. Where it is. Okay. Just template. I will just copy all of this and then I will explain it to you. Okay. Agile. Okay. Okay. First things first. Here we have to import things. Import and handle back click. Handle back clicked. Let's handle back click. Okay, now it's good. Yeah, this should be handle back click, and then here also handle back click. Okay. It's just a basic card. Mm. This is the header task detail, and we st already start. We will display the task ID. Here will always list items are a specific row. The first row is the task ID. This next row will be the task description. The next row will be the reminder set. 
the next row will be is the task opened. The next row will be when the task is created, they're created on. And the last row for this card will be the priority. And then we have the handbag click cut uh, button. Sorry. Okay. Okay, okay, now we just have to define a style in here. We have center card text because where we have defined it, we have defined it, I think, in multi ah, here in the card. So text align, center, of course. Okay, that looks good, but now when I look to it, the naming is not optimal. We have task card and we have ta task details card. Uh, I will just rename it. I mean, the, it's also a better name for this, but I will call it task overview card. Overview. Task overview card. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me just look what we are going to do next next. Okay, okay. Uh, I just remembered that we have to adjust things in here because now this is not task card anymore. This is task overview card. So here's the import for this. I will just rename it like this and rename it like this. And this is this looks very good. Okay, and we have already here method. We have already the method. Handle card clicked. Is it? It's also used in here to navigate to the task details. I mean, not. It's not should navigate to task details page, but we will do it right now. Just give me a second. Let's create a new page. Task details page. And we have to add some couple of things in here. Again, define props. Okay, semicolon at the end, curly braces, ID of type string, looks good. Now we have to define um, a task, const task is of type, reactive type. Task bad response. Description colon. And we will set everything to empty. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Is task open? Here we can define everything for null. Uh, here will be is 
reminder set yes it's task open we have created on null priority null as default value okay so that's it for the task okay we can use again the task navigation okay for navigating things here it is copy this from task overview page in here okay now we say on mounted now we use again the lifecycle methods when the page is, is uh, mounted you wanna show task details show task details and we have to define it right now that's a function sorry object assign and task we say we take it from task store ah sorry we didn't define a task store okay we say const task store use task store okay now we are assigning oh, wait a second so no mm -hmm. task to edit Okay, what we're doing here in this function call basically we take tasks from pioneer the cache task we use all the values inside of this goes now into our task gets filled the values gets filled okay and we just have now have to handle the mm, click back button const clicked back button we just say router dot back okay 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 looks very good. Now we have to add the HTML structure. Um, basically, we can again copy from task overview page. Just copy this in from here. Style and so we can delete again, copy this, and we don't have a error dialog in here because there will be no network request. We can also get rid of this part and the loading spinner, task overview. Okay, we need the nav bar, and then we need our component task details card. Here we have a property task, it's our task field and then we have back clicked when we give it our function click back button looks good okay and yes and now we come to a very 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 important part in view general okay let's let's do a quick breakdown um oh wait we will i think we will do it in the next part so you stay tuned and uh, i will explain you the most 
important concept in view in the next part. So stay, stay tuned. See you in part 17. Masalam, yes, Shabab.